Hey everyone, this is a real quick video to give you context to the template that I'm sharing in the room and also just a couple supplementary things to think about when we're dealing with the ego, especially when we have cultural attachments to the ego. So the template works as follows. You're gonna have a column where you list all of your uh, cultural ego attachments. It might be your sports team, religion, your race, your gender, anything that has a cultural context is mediated by the culture of the world. And so if you like the Cleveland Browns, right? And it's because you're from Ohio or because you like the colors or because you're a friend group, because you root for the underdog, right? Because Cleveland never wins anything. Huh, let me see if I got your ego there. Uh, then the second one is how you became attached to it. Like I just said, you have the, the you, you name the thing, then you list why you're attached to it. And then under that, I want you to do a short little story or paragraph about a time that you were attached to your ego in a particular conversation or whatever interaction about one of those cultural connections and how you may have reacted incorrectly or caught yourself in the moment and and transcended the ego in that moment. Real simple, it just starts to get you in the exercise. Remember, there is no pass fail on this. It's just, what we're doing is we're setting a couple new gears in the mind so that you can start to be more of an observer of this personality, this persona that you have uh, taken on over the years. Now, next, with the school, we're gonna be doing something interesting. Uh, someone raised this concern to me that when you're dealing with any of this deeper stuff, you're, you're unlocking pieces of people that they may not be aware of the consequences of that unlocking. And so we're gonna have an esoteric school and an, and an exoteric school. So a mystical and a mundane, okay? And so you might not wanna do all the mystical stuff. You might wanna to touch some of it and play with some of it. But you might be more like in the mundane, like how do I just make my life easier and more understandable? How do I do a six month plan for goals that I have? So I'll be always doing one class in the esoteric and one in the exoteric, or one in the mystical and one in the mundane. And uh, that'll give people an opportunity to take whatever road they wanna take. So that's, that's basically everything. Um, let me know if you have any pro problems or questions with the template and uh, give me some feedback. Do you like what's happening? Are you learning from it? Are you having any struggles with it? Is there something you, you'd want me to talk about next? Because our next class is gonna be a meditation that's gonna help you center yourself as you're dealing with the persona ego. Like stepping back and being comfortable in, in, the, in, the, in the, um, the, the, the true personality that's connected to God consciousness so you have some foundations for when you've seen this personality because if you've been in this personality for a long time and gotten very comfortable in it and you don't feel that that inner id or that super ego god consciousness and you haven't been there it's going to be kind of a freaky place to be so we want to do this slowly so no, we don't get freak out we have a whole community so you're going to have people to talk to especially me but in that just the same we should have safety measures so that's what we're going to do the next class on